and he is also the CEO of uh, Tata Autocom GY Batteries now. आप सब लोग जो लोग मिस्टर रामाशंकर पांडे जी को जो लोग रोड सेफ्टी में काम करते हैं सब लोग मुझे उम्मीद है जानते होंगे। I have been personally knowing him as a strong influencer and motivator for road safety. इन्होंने करोड़ों लोगों को पैदल चलाया है काफी किलोमीटर। इन्होंने कई लोगों को प्लेज दिलवाई है रोड सेफ्टी की। So without wasting much time, I would request Mr. Ramashankar Pandey ji to kindly join us on the dais, sir. And to moderate this session, we have with us from PWC, Mr. Ankit Godial. He is Associate Director. Capital project in infra in infrastructure practices, but he is also carrying a lot of experience in uh, you know road safety re related issues, and he has been wor working with more than other agencies on this particular uh, subject. So uh, over to you, Ankit. I hope it's on. Yeah. Hi. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you so much for providing me this opportunity to actually have a discussion with uh, Ramashankar sir. It's an honor because he has been a very eminent personality, especially in the uh, area of road safety. I've previously also had discussions with sir on certain aspects and today sir, uh, I would, how I would like to start is basically uh, there are various stakeholders uh, which are involved in uh, road safety especially and there are a lot of things which are happening. But what is happening is that the issue at hand, which is the road fatality, still we are not able to arrest it to that extent which we wanted to uh, arrest to that level, sir. So, sir, to start the session, just I wanted to understand from your point of view, especially the role of corporates uh, in road safety, what are your views around that and how that role can be enhanced further so that uh, the road safety can be improved? Thanks so much, Ankit. I think you rightly said that despite all the uh, efforts, and we heard just now uh, from the enforcement side, Despite all those efforts, the numbers are not coming down. So where are we going wrong? This we must ask ourselves. Uh, this is not a, a kind of a charity topic or page three topic. This is a topic which is concerning life of all of us. You know, one in four of us will uh, meet an accident and we better call it as a road crash in our working life. That's a huge number, huge probability. One in 13 will have a fatal accident or road crash. Now, this is not about only business, but this is about us as a citizen. Uh, and on roads, which is like every day you have millions of us on roads, and 415 families does not get back their people home right. day after day. Yeah. Imagine that they start the morning, but they don't come back. And you just heard that these are uh, avoidable. So where are we going wrong? Uh, we need to answer at the same time, like you asked for corporates, just like corporates, just like enforcement, you see how uh, the whole uh, automobile industry works. Every constituent or stakeholders are doing their level best. But somewhere, uh, the, the, uh, this is also kind of a problem that you have so many stakeholders in this, and every stakeholder wants to contribute. And they basically look at from that, you know that story of elephant, that somebody looks at the you know, tail, somebody looks at the, you know, the ear of the elephant, and we try to understand the problem from that. So what we are good at, what we can bring, by all kindness, we want to bring. But unfortunately, uh, it will not be solved because the scale is too big. With the India scale, it's pretty big. So what we need is a vision or a leadership which is whole of it. And that is where the role of Ministry of Road Transport is very important. Because if you look at all the E's, just working on every E separately is not going to work. Somebody has to integrate this. Whether it is about enforcement, about engineering, we just heard about road engineering, we hear about uh, automotive, all the vehicle engineering, uh, we hear a lot now on enforcement, or whether it comes from emergency care, you know, all of this needs to be then collectively worked. So the role of corporate becomes very important because we have been very successful in manufacturing domain to reduce crashes or accidents inside our factories. Correct. So if you look at, there is a success story that uh, the safety standard and safety activity within the boundary of us, all the corporates, are working very well. We have really reduced it to near zero. So if we can do it inside, why can't we do it outside? That's a question, but there are a lot of you know, difference between what you can do inside the factory inside the company boundary 
and what you can do outside. And that is where the role has to then get integrated with citizens around us. Uh, you know, um, I, I really admire um, uh, this Indian group, Tata group, which actually talks about community. And when I joined this group this year, I clearly saw that how much emphasis they have on ESG and in the social causes. Somewhere corporates have to really work now together to feel for the community around and get all these stakeholders integrated. So that integration part, which is missing, somewhere we have to play a role. Because if you look at um, enforcement with 80, 85,000 of the cops, you can't really manage a billion Indian. And wherever I meet, thousands of people I meet every week, and I ask people, how many of you have never violated a road rule? And we hardly get people to raise hand. That most of us, when, when many of us and billions of us are breaking the rule, how do you expect the traffic cops, 80, 85,000 will be able to solve it? So somewhere it has to come as a culture. Without a safety loving citizens, I don't think we are going to uh, you know, solve this puzzle. I was just talking to uh, Gaurav Ji from Ministry of Road Transport uh, in the earlier fireside chat, and it was very clear that without that Jan Jagriti, nothing less than a public movement can solve this. And then you ask, what can corporate do in a movement? I think it is in our interest that look at the loss of productivity in our roads when somebody dies, when we lose you know, the, the, the productive people, because young people are dying. So when young people are dying, it is the real workforce which is dying. Trained people are dying. We must do something about it. And that is where, if it is not by hard enforcement, which is about traffic cops and chalan, what can we do within our own company boundaries and then ecosystem? So every company has its own supplier base, employee base, and customer base. If this can become a movement within the corporates, you are taking care of a large ecosystem. Because if you talk to anyone, they'll be connected to some or the other company, either as a supplier, either as a dealer, retailer, or distributor. There is a linkage. So if company takes a very strong movement kind of uh, you know, campaign, it will touch all of them. So I feel the, the, the first and foremost responsibility, which looks a little counterintuitive, is to look for creating this movement, this awareness, almost at par with the way government did for Swaksta Abhiyan. So how government-sponsored campaign really changed or starting to change our country, I think why not corporate take leadership in this, which is you know, fighting the menace of road safety or uh, road accidents or road crash, because we did this in-house. Can we take our best practices outside in the society? And this I see as a first starting point. I completely agree, sir, and I think that is a very important uh, move to start with. Uh, so that brings to my second question, actually. So now we talk about four years of road safety. It's engineering, uh, enforcement, emergency care, education. Uh, one thing, sir, what we believe is, so uh, let's say you talk about in-house uh, within the corporates. In-house, the uh, behavior of the employees may be kind of controlled. But how do you control that behavior outside uh, the boundaries of the the corporates. Yeah, very important. Because, you know, behavior and adult behavior is, you know, how difficult it is to change an adult behavior. Be it in terms of within the company or outside the company, it's always a challenge. Right. But, uh, you know, first thing which is a little easier is to get involved the children because their behavior can be saved a little easier. And a lot of corporates are involving now for the campaigns in schools and colleges. So that part will be a little easier. And uh, at FIKI, we have done large campaigns with schools and colleges. We are again coming up because we don't believe that in one week you will solve this problem. So this Road Safety Week is just the start of that high decibel campaign. We are very happy that, you know, influencer like Amitabh Bachchan himself is joining the campaign. We have Sadhguru joining the campaign. Uh, the other day, even uh, Sri Sri Ravi Sankar joining the campaign. I see many of these celebrities Tendulkar, uh, you know, he joining the campaign. So very soon, the idea is to get these influencers uh, start, uh, you know, appealing to the <clears throat> masses. So the children will be taken care by these campaigns. But for the adults, I think somewhere <clears throat> it has to be, you know, how you uh, you you know condition the behavior. Either it should be, you know, pain or gain. There should be an incentive, or there should be a chalan. Now, in last so many years, we have seen the Chalan system is not working to transform this culture. Our roads are not that uh, you know, great in behavior. So what we can actually come up is a lot of these incentives. So uh, for example, in the night at 2 AM, if you are on road, 
if there's nobody looking at you, you'll not mind to, you know, just cross a red light. And that is the time when your real instinct is being on demonstration. Now, what can you do that at that point also, somebody should stop on a red light? And if you want to have that kind of behavior change, there should be strong incentive. For example, I know a few companies, there it is a zero tolerance. If you are not, even if you are a CEO of a company, and if you are found even outside the company premises, that you are not wearing a seat belt, you can be fired. So that kind of extreme measures, if companies can commit to, I think it will start at least in discussion. That, okay, this company is committed to this. So drive, the behavior has to be, have this both. You know, you need to have that, those, you can say, pain. What kind of pain it can bring if you don't follow. But at the same time, it should be gain also. So recognize people who are doing good. Uh, nowadays, there are so many, you know, uh, measurements you can do. Monitor this. So driver skill can be monitored with simple, we are talking about autonomous driving will happen tomorrow. But the technology of autonomous driving today you can use in your mobile itself to find out how good you are driving. So if you're driving good, you should be recognized. If you have an interest in saving you know, people on road, then you should be recognized. Now this system of recognizing and you know, uh, making that pain also larger for people both ways slowly will get to the adult mind. On top of it, I told you about the target segment of children, schools and colleges, and then adults. Now, if both of them meet after some time, so the children will then start behaving and start conditioning the adults. So for example, if my daughter sees somebody coming from my village town, uh, not wearing seat belt in the rear seat, she will make every hue and cry. That if you're not wearing, the vehicle will not start. Maybe they feel a little bad about it, that why a child is kind of, you know, um, uh, almost shouting on them, but uh, slowly they start appreciating because everybody values life. Maybe in the heat of the moment, everybody is faster and they want to catch up something, but later they realize, no, it's for your own life. So these rules are not actually British days rule. Huh? It is not for your you know, uh, slavery. It is for your life. So we should consider these rules more like a life-saving protocols. And that is why you, corporates can do a major role by penalizing or incentivizing. They can run a lot of employee engagement program and start recognizing people who are doing good in their private space. And today you can monitor them on a simple mobile. From Fiki, we have a very interesting app called India Against Road Crash. Anyone can just download it free of cost. You will know what is your driving score. You know how you drive. And like there are many apps are available now by which you can measure. And corporates can start incentivizing by recognizing. You know, the CEO of the company will just have once in a month in a canteen, give them a certificate, put them on the notice board so that people start talking. Just like we do in schools, why can't we do in corporates also? And if you look at most of us who are employed here and there are related to some or the other corporate. Imagine how much, you know, people we can, you know, uh, address. That's how behavior can be conditioned. Definitely, sir, because the most... Uh I mean, uh, victim of the age group, which is a higher victim of these road fatalities are between 18 to 45, which are actually working population. And actually, sir, you have partly answered my next question. My next question was actually related to how this, to improve this specifically the driver behavior, or maybe road user behavior per se. I'm not just limiting to the drivers, uh, pedestrians, vulnerable road users, everyone. How this, uh, the technological interventions especially can help? Because we have seen that awareness, okay, to some extent it will help, but I think technological intervention will play a key role, say. In fact, we all uh, immediately jump by criticizing the roads, which is true because our roads are not safe. The, we are still learning, you know. Uh, we need more auditors, safety auditors. We, India has hardly in single digit the certified roads. If you look at the IRAP rating, we will come nowhere. So there's a lot of need. Also from ministry, black spot has been identified. Money is being given. So the road infrastructure is the biggest cause. You will hear Mr. Gadkari talking about it, and it's true that uh, our roads are actually the safety design takes the back seat because it's all L1 all the time. You need to be lowest on the cost, and what is uh, getting compromised is something which people can't see while making it because you don't have enough safety auditors. So the roads are built without those safety, you know, furnitures or safety you know, uh, concerns. But now, roads to change will take years. At the same time, you look at vehicle. Vehicles are safer and safer and even much more safer. You see that we are at the global standard. Look at and search where India is in terms of safety standard, you'll see we are there. Mr. Gadkari is so much 
you know, getting all the standards uh, in, the, in the vehicle that the vehicle prices are going up, which means that there is uh, a good uh, speed in that direction. Now, even despite this, the one thing which is making all our efforts zero is the, the man on the machine. Because machine can be excellent in terms of safety standard, but someone has to drive it. And the person who is driving it, the person who is using the road, whether it is pedestrian or cyclist or car drivers or two-wheeler drivers, it's very important what happens there. So this marriage is not happening. This cultural change where we have to understand that this, this machine is as powerful as a bullet. You know, if you look at, uh, uh, it's like a loose cannon. If you, if you leave somebody with a 80 kilometer per hour speed or 60 kilometer per hour speed, and it is not in a right skilled hand, you know, it, it's, it actually can kill, and that is actually murder. This is where we are lacking. So technology has an answer. Slowly the roads will get better, but it has to start and end with us who are driving and using the roads. And that is where something very critical for our country, uh, we just heard no, before this in the earlier fireside uh, chat panel, that we take pride in breaking law. We are VIP if we are, it actually is seen VIP, because this is how VIPs also sometimes behave. They love that they have a special, you know, breaking the rule. So the children gets from there, and over last so many years, in our mind it is coming, that you can break the law. You, you know, breaking law is not something which is so, you know, alarm for our country. So this gets into culture. And that is where now the best of the best safest car, even the best, uh, you know, uh, transformation on roads will not save us. It starts and ends with the behavior, what you say. So why not we do it differently, you know? We, a country where road crash is known more like a bad luck. So you can imagine that you may not be able to sell those technology of IoT or those analysis on data analytics and artificial intelligence, but you can sell lemon and chili. So people can hang lemon and chili, nibu mirchi, and they feel they will be safe. You know, they can, if a, if a, you, you, remember the super season around road safety, because people feel it is a bad luck, not a scientific thing. So the first thing we have to convince people is, road crash is a scientific outcome. We do in our industry day in, day out. But you ask masses, they will say, destiny hai, jisko marna hai, mar jayega. You know, road accident, or it's an accident. It's a chance factor, not a science factor. Now this chance factor is not allowing us to use the technology. Remember that when a black cat crosses the road, people will stop. Because it's in the mind, you know, kali billi jati hai to ruk jao, nahi jao ke agar to accident ho jayega. They never talk about the skill of the driver. They never talk about how good you are, you know, in your driving habits. But everybody will get into that. This is a bad luck. Achha, sabko pata hai. Everybody knows that uh, road pe jana khatron se bhara hua hai. Sabko pata hai. To agar bhara hua hai khatron se, to uske liye prepared ho jao. Start learning driving better. And on top of it, you know the license system from the past, how bad it was, that anybody can get a license in those times without even going for, you know, uh, to the office. Now, and a lot of people are on that level. So this is a designed way to get killed on the road. And what we can do now is use the technology to support these drivers. Because we cannot fight. We have a war on the road. Traffic cops come this side. Every smart guys want to get away. So you have so much war on the road, and even in the departments there's a war. Who is causing road crash? So one will blame the other, other will blame the other, and it goes on. And that is where we have to kind of make a hack out of this. And the hack, what I feel is, why not we make this public itself understand the importance of their role, just like in COVID. If you remember, COVID and road crash is a very similar situation. COVID we fought as the whole country as one. We all took citizen leadership there. This is what is needed in the road crash issue also. Corporates, corporate leaders, you know, the society, RWAs, everywhere we need the leadership where they can come up and say, okay, we will change, we will transform. You know, bolte, jab hum badlenge, to desh badlega. That's the whole, be the change. Can we be the example of that? And that is where they can use technology and my uh, strong advice or advocate will be that why not, we, rather than fighting with the same drivers and the road users, we tell them, guys, we will support you, we will trust you. And by technology, we can alert and assist them. 
So remember, when you go in a flight, uh, when we don't uh, wear the seat belt because our mind is somewhere else, the air hostess comes and says, sir, please, uh, why not you buckle up? And we all buckle up. She doesn't come and give us chalan. Because the moment that chalan and the whole psychology comes, it's a war. But when she comes and tells, please wear it, it's for our own life. So we start valuing that. So why not we change the whole perspective? And we said, this is not for chalan or punishment or penalizing. This is for our own life. So we start trusting these drivers and start alerting and assisting them. And that is where you can use the technology. Because today, if Google can let you understand where is the traffic jam, you know, these kind of crowdsourcing data also can tell you where is the hazard point, where is the black spot, where we should slow down. And there are a lot of apps in that regard. So using the technology to support the driver, at least all of you who are here, you can use it today. Go and search. There will be some or the other app to let you know that how safe you are driving. So you can only safeguard yourself. And each one of us, when we start doing this more like active leadership, things will change. So your question about technology is very, very relevant. There are technology which can help us in our driver behavior. And the good news is everybody has understood it on the administration side. So you have now IRDA from the uh, insurance uh, regula regulatory authority that they have given an approval now that insurance also can be given based on the user behavior. Yeah. So if you are skilled enough and driving vehicle better, you can get incentive. Why? You can get your insurance premium cheaper. Because all of you have seen that our insurance premium is increasing. Why? Because our uh, accidents are increasing. Yeah, our crash is increasing. The cost of crash is increasing. So it is divided by all of us. Now, same thing will happen. If the crash comes down, our insurance premium will come down. Because in our country, it's very difficult to find who is at fault. So what happens? Everybody gets insurance. It's like a charity insurance in our country. If you go abroad, you will have insurance only you can get if you prove that you were not at fault. But if you are at fault, then your insurance provider will get uh, penalized, or they have to uh, take out that much money. Now, this uh, crash investigation also can happen by using technology. So technology has a lot of role. The moment you get your connected uh, ecosystem, you know what speed you were. So you will be able to know what was the gap between cars, how other cars came together, where the accident happens, why it happened. It will guide the drivers. So let's use the technology to guide the drivers, to get the accident research done, to establish the cause and effect, and then do the intervention. You remember in our first question, I was worried about everybody wants to make a difference with good compassion, but then nothing works because it's like an elephant story. Correct. Now, these technology can combine all of this and give you cause and effect. So you need to attack first thing first. Not that you want to do everything in one go. So that first thing has to be triggered first, and that cause and effect will come from these analysis. We have ICAT here, we have RASI, we have IT Delhi, IT Chennai. All of them are working on road crash analysis. So if every citizen are on some kind of an app or data, that data will help us to know why accidents are happening. Not, I think road crash cannot be stopped talking here in a conference or in fireside chat. It has to happen on road. So on road, if all of us have some data intelligence by crowdsourcing, just like today Google is able to guide you how to go, where to go, we will be able to get guided how to drive. Imagine what will happen if that technology can be used by all of us. Definitely, sir. A point noted. In fact, actually, this is uh, somewhat uh, uh, very important how to prioritize the uh, areas where we want to have an impact. Because that is what is happening is what, uh, uh, I mean, we are seeing in the market is everyone is doing their part, but if they collaborate, I think that only the impact will be visible. And that uh, brings to my another question from the uh, funding side of it. Let's say now government is also spending a lot of money on road safety, even uh, the lot of CSR funding is kind of flowing into it. But again, to make an impact, I think that collaboration is very important. So sir, do you believe that from a policy intervention side, there should be something which can be done so that this collaboration can be made more effective and funding can be more utilized in a better way? Thank you. Very, very intelligent question. In fact, uh, uh, when uh, road safety was not considered in the CSR, we all were fighting for it. The good news is it is part of CSR. So there is a policy side is already done from funding. And a lot of money is already given to state governments. Believe me, there is no dearth of funding. I still remember around maybe seven, eight years back, I asked exactly the same question to our late uh, minister, Sri Arun Jaitley ji. And I requested him, sir, you have done such a wonderful job in the GST collaborating all the states, 
can we do something in the road safety because we have every states doing it differently i think importance is to come together so um, money is not a problem i think ministry of road transport has allocated tons of money to every state government there's a open proposal in the national safety council that whoever brings a proven idea money will not be constrained and every state government is sub, uh, submitting the proposal and they're getting the money world bank has given money to ministry to work on this and world bank is even ready we had fiki and world bank working together with ministry on impact funding so a lot of funding ideas are there so funding is not an issue issue is probably to really scale up what is working and leave what is not working so what you hinted already what is first thing first what needs to be done first for example you have tired drivers and you just heard minister also talking about that people are driving trucks for 10 12 14 15 hours sometimes 20 hours not sleeping yes. now a person who is really on a on a fatigue and on the road you just heard you know commissioner talking about in the evening time more death happens when the trucks are on the road and these poor people have to have almost no place to take bath to go to toilet to take rest when they go to load the truck Sometimes uh, those logistics providers and warehouse does not even give them a, a, a water bottle. Uh, they don't even care for them. They just think they're like a machine. You know, this whole industry runs on trucks transportation. In our India, truck transportation is the biggest, you know, it's the major share of transportation. And in the center of it is driver. Now, who wants to become driver today? What is the life of driver? What kind of respect we give it to them? You can imagine, and a person who is not respected, how he will drive the vehicle, you can guess. What will be his mind state uh, on the road? So how do we know, if, if that is the first thing to do, rather than doing anything, let's do that. So what is, those? for example, I, I had a data point of roughly 45% of the crash happens by tailgating. You go just uh, from the rear side or side on the truck itself. Sometimes the truck is parked at the wrong place. Sometimes it's an all lane. Our trucks does not, you know, um, uh, travel in one lane. They travel in all lanes. And there's a reason for it. Because, you know, there's a very strange thing in our industry, in logistics, that the truck drivers get major income how, uh, you know, he gets the mileage of the truck. He has a salary, but he has a target of how fast he can reach there. How, and all KPIs are wrong KPIs because safety is not there. And then they feel that if I have to have good mileage, my speed should be constant. If I'm in the left side lane, then I have all the rickshaw guy, all the cycle guy. So let me go to the right side. At least one side is okay. And then they put on the pedal and it goes into one speed. And that is the overtaking lane. Now, it, because of that, all of us are trying to overtake from left side. Now, with one wrong, the other wrong, the other, everybody is then getting into the chain. So if, what is then first thing first? Let's find out if that is the first thing first. Just by changing the driver's salary structure, can India will get rid of crash? I don't know. But we need to work on that. What is first things first? And then that integration will happen. Correct, sir. And actually, that's the point. So we uh, recently did one survey with all these road users, and that was especially the point they made. In fact, uh, since they're driving so long hours, they want to have their, or give some rest to their feet as well. So what they do, they put a brick on that accelerator. <laughs> they, they don't even want to use their feet as well, and that's why they move on the uh, rightmost lane. So the, the idea is because now we are moving that since uh, logistics needs to improve, there has to be fast logistics which has to come into place. And at the same time, we are also saying that you know the speed should reduce or maybe the trucker should not be driving. How to actually uh, match these two requirements? I think it's a very good ask, and yeah. that way I think I'll congratulate Fiki. What you see in your you know uh, file, there's something called code of conduct. Uh, we, we said, why not we start from here? I invite all of you, whoever is really passionate about road safety, because this is what is happening. Only people who are passionate are here. Why do you think that these people have come so far to attend this? <clears throat> I think people want to make a difference. And that is where these kind of code of conduct will help us as an industry collaboration. So as a corporate, <clears throat> it says industry code of conduct for commercial vehicle. This is about those parameters where when you are loading, unloading, my uh, last company, Hela, is also part of it. Uh, Unilever is part of it. You have ACC Cement part of it. So many, many corporates have come up and they said, if a truck is coming to have loading at my place or in my warehouse, I will take care of these parameters. And there are parameters in that. And one of that is driver's health. 
when the driver is coming, are we taking care of that driver? So imagine if this becomes like a movement. Just this one contribution corporates do by taking care of their logistics in and out, giving this checklist will make a major difference because then these drivers will be felt little bit pride that they are part of. You know, the way we treat our own blue collar, so nicely we do so many campaigns, <clears throat> so nicely we make their, you know, uh, engagements, we take them sometime to outdoor. Why can't we do a little for these drivers? They're also part of us, maybe not on our roles, but they're contracted by us. And if they are seen that, uh, you know, you let your driver wait for five hours, then you suddenly come and you say, load it. Then he's left with uh, all frustration. Now he takes all his anger, frustration out on the road then. Right. And he's already tired. So you are creating a kind of a bad uh, ecosystem for yourself. So I appeal on this platform, those who are here and those who will be digitally watching, that please ask Fiki and go on Fiki code of conduct for commercial vehicle. Adopt that code of conduct. And wherever we can support the driver, just tell him thank you. You know, you are going on an auto. You have some, you know, cab driver. Just ask him, did you sleep? Just ask. I think cable tokenes se bhi bahut badlega. Jahan koi galat kar raha hai kuch, aap kuch mat karo. Just toko. Suppose agar ek lakh log humare video ko watch kar rahe hain agle kuch ek mahine mein, aap cable toko. Kuch mat karo. Aapka bahut bada contribution hoga. Aap thora roko aur thora toko. Baki to police ka kaam hai, uske baad kya karega. Lekin hum aapas mein ye sambad to kar sakte hain. And that will be a big change. So as corporate, let us start with our own in-house logistics department. Can we make it really uh, wonderful on the safety side for our truck drivers and truck ecosystem? Then we go to next, next, and next. Like you said, uh, that they are just driving with a brick. How can you have, you, you may have even more accident. But you know what is happening? We are all adopting to the situation. Because we know truck is dangerous, we overtake from left side. If you have to take overtake from the right side, you can never overtake. That's the, so we are adopting to wrong practices to change it. Somewhere we have to start. Right, right. Agreed, sir. Uh, so, sir, now this brings to my final uh, question uh, for the session. Uh, one is, sir, from the collaboration of, uh, with the local government side. So, already a lot of collaboration we are seeing. For example, Honda collaborated in <coughs> Haryana. They are developing a Vision Zero platform there. And it's actually resulting in some cities they are able to reduce the fatalities as well. So, do you think this kind of uh, collaboration, how it can be made more effective? And how we can, like, uh, involve more corporates to actually join the movement? Thank you for this. I think there is no question. It's no brainer. Now we must collaborate. But how do we collaborate? Yes, I think that's the biggest that's question. Um, you know, everyone comes up with an idea and lets all idea compete and then we start nowhere. This is what I see a lot. That uh, rather my approach is anybody doing anything and he has certain idea which can either work on education side or in emergency care side, informant side, I say let's support him. Because if we start supporting each other, collaboration will happen. And while we support, we can also try to question and ask, is it first thing first? But sitting on the fence will not work. So <clears throat> whether it is, you see, Rahagiri started so well. The beauty of Rahagiri was that everybody just came to support. Nobody was asking, you know, nobody even knew what the whole concept is. But they say, okay, we had such an interesting uh, get together. All of us come on road, you know, apni rahe, apna, whatever we call, we claim our right to be on road for pedestrian. So, paddle yatriyon ke liye concept aage, sab aage. So, whoever comes up with an idea, my request will be, why not we start supporting them? And then collaboration will go to the next level. At FIKI, uh, because we are an industry body, we have uh, made consortium. Corporates have come together. Here also you'll see some of them, like I saw Intel there. They are also uh, demonstrating what the technology can do in the road safety arena. So the idea is just like I told you the collaborative platform of this um, uh, code of conduct. There are a lot of other collaborative platform where we can pool together. So at Siam, at ACMA, at many industry body, we must come together to, uh, rather than everybody coming with a competing uh, idea, if somebody is doing, find out how can I complement it. So if somebody came up with such a nice venue here, you can imagine, you know, 10,000 people can come in one go here. Such a huge from the ministry side. Right. If we can just collaborate and complement, 
So I'm inviting all of you tomorrow. Tomorrow, again, there will be a, a large demonstration here. So many schools have come up. Now, schools opened up today. Maybe let's use tomorrow to make as many people come here. So whoever is taking initiative, the idea is to come and, for example, you told Hero, you know, at Siam, they did so much of school intervention. Why not we support Siam? Why not we support ACMA when they do it? Why don't we support ASDC when they go and do the... In Urisa, they have done such a nice first aid training program on the, on the CPR. So everyone who has taken a little bit of effort to do something about it, why not we all start supporting them? Of course, not always with money, but sometimes always is, you know, giving even our team members. Correct. Imagine if every corporate gives a small team of two, three people. I will love to lead. I would really, if we have such a huge force, imagine when we did that, uh, what Gaurav was talking, the one crore steps. From Kanyakumari to, uh, you know, Jammu we walked. You know, it was like a wildfire. Everybody just started cooperating. And uh, I was like, uh, uh, me, Subhu, there were three, four of us. We started from Kanyakumari. We thought, okay, this is like 3,600 kilometer, which means around 36 lakh step. So three of us will make around a crore. So let's go. We started. By the time, in fact, in Kanyakumari itself, we had thousands of people. By the time we reached Trivendram, again, thousands and thousands. You know, in Vaga border, we had 50,000 people. Everywhere you have all the defense people joining in, corporates joining in. In, in Worli Seaface, I remember, hazaro mein log the. Yahan Tau Devilal Stadium mein, hazaro mein log the. Look, I am very sure that people are feeling the pinch of road crash. Koi na koi unka relative, koi na koi unka dost. It's little bit more than business. So the request is, collaboration can happen when somebody take the initiative, give your moral support, give your manpower support, make it convenient for people to continue this campaign. If you cannot do that, don't discourage them, don't put an impediment to them. And then I'm very sure, from the automotive industry, I'm sure it will happen. From the Fiki industry body, I've seen, you know, oil and gas industry, FMCG, cement industry, these people are willing to do it. So, chota chota agar karenge na, it will become like a movement. And I told you in the beginning, this current situation can only change if we have nothing less than a movement. And it is so great to have Mr. Gadkai now focusing on influencer with uh, Amitabh ji is coming in, with so much of uh, mass media campaign coming in, and he's not going to stop it. There are many plans, actually. So okay. there is a good looking forward uh, at the ministry level, what they are going to come in next weeks and months, what we know from Fiki side. And I'm hopeful, just my appeal will be join that. Whoever is just Nagara Bajra, chalo saath mein chalte hain. Let's do it. Because log bolte hain, isse kya hoga? Sabse bari cheez kya hoga? Ye priority pe aega. Because imagine, jitne hamare fauji log, defense ke log border pe nahi mare hain utse jyada road crash mein andar mare hain can you imagine the data point matlab hamare khud ke military ke log border pe unki utni death nahi hui hai jitni country ke andar road crash mein hui hai so why not this should be declared as a national security threat it is a national security threat which needs a national priority which needs a movement and I'm very happy that corporates are ready and they are doing their bit to come together. The only idea is to now align our activities. Correct. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your time. And actually, you gave a lot of clarity how corporates can actually collaborate, and which is an essential point at this stage. And I hope in this uh, coming future, we'll be able to see the reduction in fatalities. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ankit and uh, Rama sir. No less than a mass movement can work for us. That is very true. And, uh, and we have seen uh, in COVID, it, it, it worked for us actually. So uh, with these words, a lot of uh, new ideas has came up. And we will, from Fiki side, we will definitely try to work on some of the ideas. And we, we are uh, further open to ideas. Request everyone, if you have some idea, please share with us. And in Fiki Road Safety Committee, we would definitely try to work on those ideas. Thank you very much for being with us, with us today. And uh, we request you, all of you to kindly also join us for tomorrow. There, there will be a very interesting panel discussion on how different corporates are doing their different bit for the road safety. So kindly join us tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, thank you, Rama sir. Thank you, Ankit. One Once idea. Uh, you know, I really am very appreciative of people who are uh, listening to this. Thank you so much. Uh, your contribution, I think the collaboration starts now. Why not uh, we can all come here for a picture? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. That Please join us on the dais because for a group picture. Because they themselves then can take it forward because they are as important as any one of us. And we have a very nice backdrop. 
Uh, why not? Yeah, yeah. Please, please join us on the dais. Group picture.